and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I am your host, Mr. Modern Toy Fair, and I am joined by the founder of the NECA Illuminati, the YouTube wife, Mrs. Modern Toy Fair, the one, the only, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? I'm doing good, man. I like these back-to-backs. I feel like I'm really sharp. I'm on my game, so I'm doing great. Yeah, man, it's definitely uh, keeps you on your toes when you have to record two nights in a row, (laughs) almost every week. (laughs) How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Uh, I I had an interesting morning. I went to pick up a Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop for Jake's wife, and uh, a homeless guy spit on me, so there's that. Yeah, he uh he he sat down on the bench a few feet from me and spit into the wind and then my oh, leg God. because I decided to wear shorts cuz it's hot out got the uh oh. the sea roll treatment. So that was a pleasant experience for my morning. So what you're saying is you cut your leg off. Uh, I, I mean, I off. I used a lot of hand sanitizer when I got back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Uh, and well, and, I, and I, I immediately I immediately texted his wife and I was like, you have to pay me double now because uh, <laughs> this was not worth <laughs> not only waking up early, but also getting spit on. Uh, yeah, not 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 a great start to my day. But... Not at all. Well, at least I'm here. Yeah. So I won't spit on you. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, that you're not going to spit on me. That's that's always a plus. I mean, unless you want me to. I mean, that's our other account. Um, <laughs> this is YouTube. You can't do that here. At least I don't think you can. <laughs> Uh, anyway, if you're new to the show, the way it works is we bring you the top toy news stories for the week, and then we send you on your merry way. So let's go ahead and get started the same way we do every week, and that is with some McFarlane news. Pre-orders have finally gone up for the new Spawn Universe figures. We have the Redeemer, which is $24.99, the Raven Spawn, which is $24.99, the clown, which is thirty nine ninety nine, and the violator, which is fifty nine ninety nine, all available on Entertainment Earth shipping in September. Link will be in the description below. As for the gunslinger spawn, though, he is now a Target exclusive, shipping in August for twenty four ninety nine. There were pre orders briefly, but they did sell out. Um, then again, it's Target, so who knows if the pre orders will ever ship anyway. Uh, meanwhile, during an interview, though, we did get a blurry look, as you know, Todd does, at a black and silver variant uh, to the Redeemer figure, along with a deluxe She Spawn, which had already started showing up in Target's inventory system. It's just no idea of when she'll actually be showing up in stores or online, uh, or if she's even exclusive for that matter. We don't really have a whole lot to go on there. Staying on the Spawn subject, though, we did get new solicitations for the Mortal Kombat 11 Malefic Spawn. Or Malefic Spawn, maybe. That makes more sense. Sounds better. Malefic Spawn. That's what we're going to go with. Uh, mm-hmm. Along with pre-orders that went up on Entertainment Earth for 1999 shipping in September. Link will also be in the description below for that. And then on the DC side of things, we got official solicitations after weeks of just pictures after pictures for the five inch retro Batman 66 Batman and then Robin Joker, the Batmobile and the Batcave playset all in box looking pretty. Uh, no pre-orders yet. Those are set to go up in August though. So keep an eye out on that. And I mean, I'm going to start with this, this Batcave playset. Yeah. That's- very good news. Like this, I don't. I'm not a '66 Batman guy at all, at all. And <laughs> this is just such a cool thing. Like, it brings me back right. to when I was a kid. Because I mean, granted, they were smaller figures, but they had the Wayne Mansion, and they had several different versions mm-hmm. of it. It was always the same sculpt, but they had like different paint jobs for the Michael Keaton Batman or for the animated series Batman, or I think there was a third version that they just released for shits and giggles. Um, and this reminds me of that cause it folds out. Yeah. So that's cool. it's like something that you can, you know, 
display and then put away if it's not something you plan on having out all the time or if you're getting it for your kids because i i have friends who had their kids watch the 66 batman because it's so campy and fun that it's something that the kids can enjoy that's batman and that's great for them because now they've got a playset yeah. that they can simply fold up and don't have to worry about tripping on when they go to piss at three in the morning <laughs> i mean outside of like the nostalgia feels the just the packaging alone i was curious to see like what it was going to look like was it going to be the you know window cut like square open it up from the top and pull this will figure out Mm -hmm. packaging that mcfarland normally has but i like that it's on card um because if i well i'm not even gonna say if i'm definitely getting like robin batman and joker um i'm probably gonna leave these on card mainly because our articulation is not like insane yeah so, but i don't know if i can get like super cool poses but i would be very tempted to open this up but i just like the color blocking with it mm. i i just enjoy everything about this it's so like cheesy and cool oh yeah <laughs> like especially like looking at the box you've got orange green blue yellow like the, the, the yeah, boxes really do pop logo, if you have them man. on the shelf so like yeah i don't blame you at all if you kept them on card and i'm not gonna lie like even seeing them posed with like the the pow and and bam like things on their wrist yeah you could tell they are limited which is it, they yeah. were never advertised as gonna be like super you know crazy articulated um i imagine there's people out there who will find a way to make these look really cool, cool. posed but they'll probably have to use something to make that happen it's not gonna be like the i don't think he's gonna stand on one leg like he is there uh, <laughs> oh, without God, no. a lot of a lot of work to to get to that point um that's true. But yeah, I'm I'm totally digging his line. The the Joker, by the way, I just the pose when I instantly saw it, I thought of uh I don't know why. It made me think of um like the Lego movies. Oh how yeah, how like, their legs they are move. straight as they Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's funny, but yeah, I I'm a fan of this. I mean I wouldn't go so crazy into like the set and everything just because I'm not gonna display it uh outside of just being on car, but mm-hmm. I'm I'm like totally into this and I really hope that we get more like weird retro like kind of lines like this in this style. Like true dedication yeah. like style. Like this wasn't just here we go, boom, and then make like this seems like it was a Yeah, this wasn't like the tail end of the Mattel days when they just started throwing shit at the wall and if it shipped yeah. it shipped kind of thing. Uh you can definitely tell that someone it. is at least putting effort into these even if they are yeah. not at the same caliber as their like regular seven inch line. Uh one thing I do find interesting is we saw like technically in hand pictures at the Wonderfest of the chase variants for Joker and Robin, and now they're oh, not yeah. in the solicitations. So I wonder if that's yeah, a thing where they're like not official yet, even though they showed them off or what's going on with that i mean well if it, it would have to be at launch of these so it'd be weird to like be like oh yeah we're gonna release these chase variants later because they're i would assume they're not gonna be the first time that they've done supply. it i guess think about it. they did they did those weird bronzed chase variants that shipped uh, after true. the rest like, of the waves did that's fair but then that makes it well i guess that's okay yeah maybe that's what's happening and i'll I'll stick to what my initial uh, reaction was that <laughs> it's going to be like maybe much later, mm-hmm. a few months or so later after this, then they'll do the chase variant. Maybe yeah. they're waiting to see how well these sell to even, to even start producing the chase variants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they paid for the prototypes and for the proofs, but they're yeah. like, mm, we'll hold off on that. We'll hold off. We'll see. <laughs> I, then against McFarland, I, I feel like they, they need the reuse to make this line profitable. So if they don't release those, they're, they're just throwing money away. So it's, it's my, I, I, and technically we've never they never confirmed that they were chase variants we just assumed for all we know this could be like an entertainment earth exclusive wave. or earth. it could be wave two or it could be a comic-con yeah. thing i still i still think we're getting an unmasked adam west for comic-con so cool. i mean we haven't we, he, we didn't see him but yeah. i have to assume like that's gonna be something they want to actually like, properly reveal and have like a big deal about because nothing yeah. gets burt ward or or caesar they're, they're both fantastic and you know major parts of the show but adam west is batman so i mean right that, that's going to be your headliner and um, i feel like that's something that you'd have to do right anyways yeah just to kind of like you be respectful you know yeah mm-hmm. you get what i'm trying to say yeah and, and, and even then i mean realistically the fans would tear them apart if they fucked up adam west's face so 
Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, speaking of exclusives, though, how sad are you about Gunslinger? So, yeah, I'm very disappointed because I thought this would be one, one of those things that I just click the button, pre-order, and just not have to worry about it. Um, but, I mean, then again, I say as much as I hate Target, you know, exclusives. I typically find them in some way or another form. Uh, it's just a lot of stress. Uh, I'm hoping, though, that since this is, like, spawned, that it won't be, like, too crazy to find because in reality most of the spawn stuff is always just there mm -hmm. so we'll see i mean i i am very mixed on i have very mixed feelings on this i'm sad but at the same time i already go to target at least through two to three times mm -hmm. a week anyway so we'll see i, I have mixed feelings just because i feel like mcfarlane hasn't been a hard find for their target exclusives yeah but that's also been primarily dc and i feel like if you've got just a color full version of batman then targets could be like yeah we'll order like you know six per store we don't care about that that's fine mm -hmm. that it's batman I it'll sell eventually yeah um versus spawn which i mean obviously has its fan base but comparatively like little timmy isn't gonna see spawn yeah. and, and buy that over batman i mean I'm not gonna say he's not gonna think it's cool but it's that recognizability like he's gonna be like yeah. mom look at that cool batman he's all red uh, and even though he has it already, mom's going to buy the red version just to shut him up. So what's well, the likelihood that little Timmy's like, mom, look, it's spawn. And he's gunslinger. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very true. I thought you were going to go a different way. Or I think you, I thought you were going from a different direction of like, it's going to be harder to find because it's so specific that like the people who want it are going to be looking for it mm -hmm. but you're more so going from like inventory yeah i'm going for the inventory yeah. i think it's going to depend on the relationship between mcfarland and target if they've built up that like strong bond of okay we trust that your stuff's going to sell and we're not going to have to sit on it then we'll probably it'll be plentiful but okay. if it's if it's well, something where it's like well we trust that because it's batman and yeah. we know batman this is this is spawn we don't really know a lot about him and, and spawn hasn't really been in the spotlight for over yeah. a decade or two except yeah. for with yeah. the the mortal Kombat line so well you know, see i i like to imagine that the deal with them is like look we're gonna give you six thousand dc figures just let us put our spawn figures in your store i mean it's very possible that was what todd dude's <laughs> like you know if you if you want uh if you want the the batmans then you have to take the spawns too like yeah i, that's a, I have to assume <laughs> that's just, how that conversation they're went. just coming in they're yeah. just yeah they're spawning all as over he sat in a t-shirt in their their fancy office at the corporate <laughs> <laughs> uh overall I mean, though i really like the packages for these yeah i i read my mind you know we're on the same same frequency i'm kind of a little bummed out of the one that i'm like potentially gonna get i feel like it has the least cool <laughs> coolest box out of all of them I like the black or like the the um like the black and red trim, black and yellow, like the blue and yellow. I even like the one that like the clown box, I mean that color, that blue and yellow is so mm -hmm. cool. But then it's just like this red and I don't know. It just doesn't pop enough for me, but I don't I don't know. I don't, care. I don't know, I feel like it's fitting. It's very westerny. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You got the um, sand from the desert and then the spawn logos in red, like his coat and stuff. Like I feel like it's it's pretty fitting. I feel like each one of them it, it but, uh, it kind of matches them like violator it's got that red trim primarily black he's kind of like this charcoal color with red eyes probably has yellow teeth to justify the yellow logo unless that's just to make it pop uh the clown his color schemes yellow and green and blue, blue and pale yeah. uh oh. gray skin like i i feel like that that's pretty much what they did with the the box there uh raven spawn that one's a little i don't really have a it's a bit of a stretch yeah Same that's a stretch Redeemer. i mean his is like cloak <laughs> like i guess is kind of like a dark blue that's a, <laughs> about as far as i can get that one um yeah. and then redeemer spawn that one's even more of a stretch because that one's black and in yellow which i guess that's just because they're tired of using blue in all the other boxes <laughs> yeah um, so my my entire theory just fell apart as kind i started looking apart. more at these pictures so <laughs> as the the meme world would say you, you have in the first half 
<laughs> yeah. It was all bad after that. Yeah. But no, I mean, I, I get it. Aesthetically, though, I just like the other colors of the box. Mm -hmm. You can feel just like the, the, the red and gold or gold sand, whatever. But I mean, that's something silly because I'm going to open this one up for sure. Exactly. That box is either going to go in the trash or under the stairs, right? Right. <laughs> Boxes are my enemies. Yes, they are. They are your greatest foe. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, though, Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech put up pre-orders for their new Deadpool version 2 figure. Deadpool includes multiple heads, hands, knives, size, swords, bigger knives, pistols, bigger pistols, dynamite sticks, cell phone, hol attachable holsters, and attachable pouches. Deadpool is $99.99 on Big Bad Toy Store, shipping in November. Holy shit. I am boy. normally not, like, like Amazing Yamaguchi does good work, but I'm usually not like, do I need this? Because Amen. usually they just look so stylized that I'm like, it won't fit in with anything else, I'm good. But <laughs> this thing is incredible i feel like we've talked about the original version on the on the yeah. show like last year when we first started out Is there a variant or something that came out or um so i think the difference i think this one just comes with more accessories because i well i know but i thought there was well yeah i i thought we talked about it before yeah but i thought it was like a special version that we talked about but i guess it, it probably was just the original release now we have so many of these import marvel figures it's hard to keep track of, of what's what is. you know what I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the Spider-Man, the Iron Spider. Oh, uh, yeah, the Iron Spider, yeah, because they did the That's black what. and gold and then the red and gold. That's what it is. Yep. But, yeah, this I, – I interrupted your thought. They're all good. I'm just – yeah, I'm blown away with just how many accessories he has. He even has, like, interchangeable eyes for one of the head yeah. heads. And then, like, the, the, the fact eyes. that you can choose if you want to have, like, the pouches attached or the holsters, depending on if you want them, like – on the the straps for his harness or on his legs like oh, and then the, the little deadpool <laughs> cell phone i'm just like damn yeah. they are they are i i love the pose with him with the size because it gives me you know obviously straight Raphael like oh yeah vibes coming off and it, it just reminds me like out of all of the turtles that i have all the sets and all the editions these are this from the same company like are probably like my favorite it's up there like competition wise just because they are obviously from the cool tv show but there's just so much articulation and there's so much fun that you can do with these mm -hmm. these figures from them and i mean th these accessories are just insane like how much you're getting from it gives you uh a lot of like uh what's the company you love mesco mesco yeah. mesco vibes when i see like the accessories with it it's, it's pretty awesome yeah and like even just like I feel the worst part is if, if I got this, I feel like I'd, I'd want to constantly have the hard eyes head on at all times. <laughs> Cause that pose of him is just like sprawled out, like take yeah. me Spidey. <laughs> like it's just, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's it's so Deadpool. And oh, this figure just looks so cool, but a hundred dollars. Oh, that hurt my chest a little bit. That's a heavy, heavy price. But I mean, for, I feel like by far like oh, i yeah. mean i don't know if we're like giving financial advice to people but like if you are interested in a deadpool and you haven't had anything like rebel tech this is like they're they're legit oh like, yeah I love, I love, uh, I, i've had rebel tech stuff in the past and it's it's great with the articulation and nowadays they do even a better job because they actually like do a decent job of hiding it like that's the one thing oh, about yeah, the turtles you have cool. like some of the joints yeah. you can see the ball joint uh because they were earlier like models they did yeah. and stuff and now they've got it to like it's borderline seamless because the way they're you cut. You can't even tell in the knees. Yeah, like, in some of these poses, it's it's kind of impressive. Yeah, and and they make sure to use like the folds of the clothing to hide it in certain ways, like at the thigh, like it's really well hidden yeah. as well. So yeah, if you're you're a Deadpool fan, and this I feel like is a must. And even if it, if you're not like. I feel like this is such a good figure. It's still like a really good, yeah. Maybe you want to start being a Deadpool. Yeah, you, maybe you need to start being a Deadpool fan. Is this where this conversation is going to go? Uh, well, we're going to keep it going. We've got uh, some NECA news, which it's been. I feel like it's been a hot minute. Yeah, so NECA. NECA's making news this week with full solicitations and pre-orders for the Universal Monsters Ultimate Wolfman. 
He includes swappable human parts, a bear trap, his cane, and an alternate wolfman head. He is available for $32.99 on Entertainment Earth shipping in November. Link will be in the description below. But that's not all. NECA mm -hmm. also gave us full solicitations for the new TMNT movie flashback Rokusaki and Hamato Yoshi Shadow Warriors 2-pack, which includes interchangeable hands, heads, even arms, removable gi, weapons, two pre-mutation splinters, and his cage. This two-pack will be Walmart exclusive, unfortunately, and is expected to start popping up in July or August. I have to assume this two-pack is going to be on NECA online at some point, their NECA shop. Oh, yeah. Just because they've done all the other ones for the movie, at least so far. So I, I'm curious if that's going to be like not maybe October we'll see that go up. Like it'll be exclusive to walmart like for after. like a month or two and then they'll be like here you go because i can't see walmart like walmart deep dived by the end of it into the other turtle two packs because they mm -hmm. were the turtles for the most yeah. part this is a like one <laughs> 30 second scene <laughs> in a movie that's f fuck 40 years old almost 30 years old jesus um, yeah so I just I can't see them being like we want to have ten per store for the fifty percent of our stores that actually have NECA sections, like they did I with the turtles. Like two, two on a shelf is yeah. what I, I foresee. I'm using my my NECA Illuminati abilities, and I'm I'm predicting you'll probably find two maybe on the shelf. Which I mean, in all fairness, is fine because this is. This is a deep dive. Oh, it's a deep, 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 deep like, cut. Like, this is to the bone deep. Surprisingly um, deep for me, because I'm like, nah, I don't need it. I don't need it. But, you know, how that goes. So yeah. we'll see. <laughs> like, we'll see for sure. But, I mean, it definitely is cool. Um, but also, like, they're milking the shit out of this first movie. I, I, so I mean, what? they've got to at this point. Because like... we even fucking have Danny. Like, what What more can we get from, like, it's going to be, like, it, people in the background. I'm calling it <laughs> SDCC. We're getting the pizza, the Domino's guy. Okay, so I would be down for that, though. <laughs> That's the thing is I would be down for that. I like that this, is, this is borderline almost a too deep of a cut for you, but the pizza guy, you'd be like, let's fucking do it. Give it to me now. I mean, that, that's almost ridiculous enough that, like, come on. You, you got to do that. We're going to get, like, the cameraman, the crew. Um, actually, I, I was going to make a joke about we were going to get the um, the actual stunt actors that were in costume. Mm -hmm. That would actually be kind of dope. I, I mean, technically, we did. Yeah, you're, you're right. Actually. Just saying. <laughs> you get a second set of turtles, capacity. and they can be whatever you want them to be. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, I'm just wasting this, this time in this segment. <laughs> but how about swappable heads for the turtles of the the stunt actors? Oh, so you can take so them you off. Take the heads okay. off and then put their heads on. Okay. So just like they got the, the animatronic uh, heads off. I mean, that'd be that'd be interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'd I'm sure someone can it. 3D print those up for me. I'm, I'm sure true. someone probably already has at this point. Like, let's be honest. That's true. <laughs> uh, before we move on to Wolfman, though, I, one thing that intrigues me is this like removable gi slash att oh. detachable arms thing. So, I I it's not been that long since I've watched the movie. I don't recall, like, like I know at least one of them was shirtless, but I don't recall it being, like, they both had the geese or they both didn't or vice versa. Like, I feel like they just had a, this was their costume for the entire scene kind of thing. Yeah. So is this just, well, I mean, like, do you think this is just them being, like, you know, in case you want to, you know, make this more than just a flashback scene, you want to just have a yeah. Hamato Yoshi? I, that or, like, you're like, hey, if you want to make sure that... I, I mean, if you want to take a scene from Mortal Kombat and try and make him look like Luke Cage, I don't know. No, but I think it's just them maybe taking liberties with, yeah, like the idea of it, which is it's probably also because why not? I mean, Almost. at that point, it gives you more versatility with it, so it makes it more desirable. Because if it was just these two dudes in a in a rat in a cage, and maybe some weapons that they clearly didn't use in the scene. <laughs> 
don't know. I, I can't imagine it would be like a, a, a hot seller. So they're like, well, if we make it so you can, you know, dress them how you want, we'll give you a bunch of weapons. And we'll give you two splinters that like are in slightly different poses. Like they're trying to beef <laughs> it up to make it so like it's a deep cut, but you still need it kind of thing. Or yeah. at least like you're like, oh, that's fucking make cool. Scene. Expand on that 30 second scene. And, exactly. You know, full length okay. movie. You, you could make a little like diorama of them like in Japan and like have them train together go full like old school so i mean it's, it's really cool um i do want to talk about wolfman though and yeah i figure you may have some i one thing I want, I want to discuss first is a week or two ago randy did respond to a tweet saying that all of the universal monsters will not come in both black and white and color versions it hasn't been specified of what ones will and what ones won't it's speculated though that this is one of them because so far he has a pre-order for the color version, no pre-order for the black and white version. Interesting. Oh, good talk. Uh, yeah. No, so. I'm just. I th- well, the way you said that, I thought you were gonna say something else. So I was like trying not to like interrupt you. No, but... I took a dramatic pause so that way you could uh, chime oh, in, and then you're no, like, I interesting. Just, that's that's just slightly <laughs> disappointing that like. I mean, I, I don't get a reason. I, I don't. I, I just don't understand why wouldn't you? I guess is my yeah my understanding. It's like if you're gonna make some figures black and white, not why not make them all? They know we're collectors, like so obviously you're gonna want a whole set. Like it's just weird to have them back and forth. Now I could be talking out of my ass. Was this film originally debuted in black and white? I want to say what? it was. So that's why, you know, that that was maybe I mean, my that initial could be, thought. That could be, but like if it wasn't, and they're giving you the cl- color option if you're not like one of those people who are like, I have to have it. Well, because the, they, they all eventually did get like re-released colorized, and colorized yeah. and all that. I can't so remember which what... ones were and which ones weren't. Like I know for sure that uh, Frankenstein and I want to say Dracula were for sure black and white. Um, I th- Creature of the Black Lagoon was uh, black and white. I don't know about Mummy or Wolfman. Um, yeah, I I, I want to say they were, but I just I don't know. Uh, I, I, I I I will say I also am wondering if like to to kind of ride the coattails of that idea is if maybe it's a likeness thing, like they couldn't get the rights to the characters, mm-hmm. all of the characters in both, even though it's universal. So you think they'd just be like, yeah, fucking do whatever. Well, I'll yeah, do. it has something to do with how the film was. Mm-hmm originally released that could... i mean we again talking about our ass. yeah we really don't like no, randy i was doesn't like most people let alone this... us so <laughs> yeah was i even born when this movie came out uh, probably know. not this at least we're yeah, before no our time way, right yeah they were they were, they were quite <laughs> it was in the 80s. wait I'm, I'm debating if it was black and white and i'm asking if it was if i was born yeah, yeah I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty sure if you were born it probably would have all been in color um <laughs> very uh, true I, yeah, so it makes me hesitant because I wanted a set in black and white just because I think that's that's cooler. That's, what that's how I remember the Universal Monsters. Um, and I think they just, they, they look like the Frankenstein, as much as it looks cool in like, the colorized version, the black and the white, black and white one just that. looks so good. Just yeah, the, the shading the and everything. Part. So fingers crossed that maybe down the line or maybe Randy's just, you know, kayfabing us and he's it's going to be like Bullshit. here they are anyway or i mean he, he took another break for a few weeks from twitter so maybe he was just in a bad mood he's like fuck you you don't get both <laughs> we'll never we'll they're never like, know oh, until they're out. we are actually making both oh okay <laughs> i mean let's be honest that's how NECA seems to work it's the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing so they're, they're probably some at the top probably did make the decision that they're gonna make both and just didn't tell randy uh, even though he's, he's like the lead designer there is like oh no we wanted to do both because you know money yeah. Why the fuck that's, wouldn't that's, we? That's the whole. My, that's my point. Like, why wouldn't you do it just for money, even if it isn't like, you know, historically accurate? Yeah, it, it, especially here. like for companies like this where you need that reuse. Like, how many fucking of the same King Kong are we gonna get just so we can reuse that body to make some money off it? Right. <laughs> we need. Why not just reuse these parts to to make the black and white version? Especially when you aren't adding new molds. Like with King Kong, they're adding new accessories, new head sculpts these literally just would need repainted because i'll tell you right now the accessories in black and white people would be enough for people to get it anyway you don't need to add different accessories for that no just do the exact same thing yeah 
Like uh, we'll see. I'll I'll say this is my reason for not buying it is because it's. <laughs> I mean, I I have I have the Frankenstein's monster is pre-ordered. Like the black the and white version, I have it pre-ordered, and so like yeah. I'm getting it. It's just a matter of who's gonna be his buddy on the shelf because so far it's not I Wolfman. Mean, even <laughs> Dracula though would be pretty dope. So I, I will say the the two, the one that better come in black and white is the creature of the Black Lagoon because that probably was one of my favorite ones as a kid. Mm. So if that one doesn't come in black and white, I'm gonna be very sad. That would be really intriguing to see how it looks like the shading, right? Like that's another reason. I was like, I just want to see how they do it with like, yeah, because since he's you know green and different green, shades of green yeah. and all that, so make it real pop. But I, I have faith that they could do it. Uh, moving moving on from the potential sad black and white future that we'll face in the Neko world to some very exciting potential news for the future, <sighs> and that is Storm Collectibles on their Twitter account has teased. A possible Street Sharks line of figures coming, saying, did someone say Street Sharks? But we have zero information beyond that. They, <laughs> they just, you know, put a little gif with it of it. the Street Sharks on a computer. Um, I, I I chose this because I want, I want to talk about the potential that we have here. Like... Yeah. It's not Super 7. It's not something where it's like, oh, is it going to be Reaction or is it going to be Ultimate? This is Storm. They don't oh, it's they don't be... fuck around. These are going to be yeah. big, beefy boys. And holy shit, I, I'm, <laughs> I can't wait to see how these look. Yeah, but for me, this is slightly a roller coaster of emotions just because I see this and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm, I'm down for some Street Star, you know, uh, representation. Get that 90s vibe. Brash, rude, and like rollerblading mm -hmm. rollerblading was so cool you know but uh <laughs> then it was oh shit this is storm collectibles and then my wallet just like closed right up so i don't know Cuff like a little, I mean, little, little puff of dust first <laughs> <laughs> like it's 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 exciting i'm absolutely like excited to see what they like what can they come up with and recording this show now like almost a year now like anytime storm collectibles comes up i'm always like oh man just give me a fucking reason to buy something from them and now i have one Here and i'm is. like well you know maybe not do something that comes with like multiple characters in the line you know <laughs> so like give me you know i was thinking like give me yotsi mitsu from tekken so it's just one character that yeah. i can buy versus like oh yeah you're gonna have to buy multiple in this line if you want the whole thing so that scares me a little bit. Oh, but yeah, this, this line could easily get $1,000 deep real yeah, quick. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see how this rolls. I'm I'm honestly, like, really, really excited to see what they can do with this. Um, but maybe they'll come out with, like, a special 5-inch line <laughs> that's, like, $30 a figure. <laughs> Comes with PAL accessories that clip onto their wrists and have slightly <laughs> less articulation, but they'll have a really cool play set of their cave that they hang out in. <laughs> the shark cave everybody remembers that but now this is this is exciting and it makes sense for them i don't know if you like remember well obviously you do remember like the the actual toys like mm -hmm. from the, the 90s and how big and bulky oh, yeah. like they they were with the little tiny to toothpick legs um i it's just it would be cool it would be really really cool yeah but i'm awful terrified I, i'm just <laughs> yeah i'm terrified i i just i just want to see the logistics of it because they're, yeah, like, that's Storm true. Collectibles is known for they'll use a lot of soft rubber on there to get the, make it so the articulations not hindered one way or another. Yeah. So I'm like, are their heads gonna be soft? Are they gonna have fucking you know chopping up and down mouths? <laughs> like, are we are you talking like? There's just so much that you could do. They could even like have like the face be a separate piece that connects so they can like turn their face. <laughs> that would be cool. Like, I'm... there's so much potential, and I'm here for it. I want to see it. Bring it on, Storm I wanted to pull up which one. Okay, yeah. So there was the – that's the one I'm thinking. So if this does come out and it's, like, insane, you know, price-wise or whatever, there's the one that's, like, turquoise and, like, a a pinkish blue – or a pinkish purple is color. He's the one with the roller ba blades. Okay. And that's the one I remember, like, having. So I, I could possibly be down for just, like, getting, you know, potentially one of them to hit that, you know, nostalgia vibe. But, man yeah i mean we're thinking hundred dollars oh easily yeah 
I mean, given uh, what like their DC injustice figures, which are big beefy boys too, those are usually about like ninety to one hundred and twenty, depending on which one you get. So mm. it, prepare prepare your butthole for that one. Uh, <laughs> I, I I am I do have to think okay. because Storm Collectibles isn't one to tease things unless they're like real close to showing. So I I mm-hmm. I think we're gonna see these at Comic Con. I think SDCC at home we see at least one, if not multiple street sharks, even if it's unpainted, even if it's just like a prototype, I think we'll see something of them for their comic con at home. These are so fucking cool. I'm excited (laughs) for this now. I just got really excited because I I told myself I could get one. And now I'm like, I'm I'm pretty excited about this rollerblading purple short he had ripped jeans like short like oh man this is rad i mean i'm oh, in man. i'm in it's a good thing your wife doesn't uh watch the show because you don't watch the deep show. trouble <laughs> <laughs> street sharks are very far away but what is even further away oh, is what's is. closing out the store the the news the and yes the store uh and that is mafex who put up two new pre-orders <laughs> First, we are getting a Avengers Endgame Captain Marvel. She includes interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands, and energy effects, and like a lot of them. Mm-hmm. You can pre-order her for roughly $90, shipping in April of 2022. And then for DC, we are getting the Batman Hush Harley Quinn. She includes a little less. She gets interchangeable heads, hands, a mallet, and then swappable spring shoes. Harley will also be around $90 shipping in April. There will be a link for pre-order down in the description below. I'm not going to lie. like the, the Captain Marvel is really fucking cool. I don't think I'll get it because I don't have any of the MCU figures. Yeah. But like, there's aspects of this costume I never noticed. I didn't realize, aside from her hair, that she really changed much from like her oh, movie to to end movie, game yeah. like i didn't realize they gave her the sash oh yeah uh, wait wait what oh yeah I the, see what for her mean. belt oh, around like, the, yeah oh because that was like a, a kind of a, a i guess she was only like in it like oh yeah well, she maybe had like 10 minutes of screen time at best in the three hour movie i need to rewatch that because i don't remember you would have seen that flying right oh uh, no because it's not that long um and no, to, but i mean even still they gotta like it's on the hip yeah i mean don't get me wrong i feel like if you're paying attention you probably noticed it but yeah you, you see her at the beginning of the movie when you know they plot to to kill thanos and they show up and beat his ass which i think she was still in her original costume at that point and then you yeah. see her at the end of the movie when she well then you see her like a hologram of her with her new haircut five years later um and then you see her at the end of the movie where she busts through a ship and then beats thanos ass so mm-hmm. like I, I guess maybe it was such a big action sequence that I wasn't necessarily looking I mean, at her hips to see if she had a fucking belt made of yeah. cloth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it definitely the likeness is so good mm-hmm. in these, you know, rendering slash actual prototypes. Figures possibly maybe we'll see. I mean these aren't <laughs> these aren't digital renders, these are prototypes. So like that's yeah. sculpted, that is there. Um, the only thing I don't like about good. it is her her two different heads. Like you've got just like casual like dead face, and then you've got like grumpy face. I'm like, let's okay. give her a smirk or something. Like, yeah, I was trying to figure out what was that, but here's the thing. I don't know if you remember the the hoopla about it. Um, when was it with this movie? Or when it was the first one, it was something about like telling, telling her, her to, to smile, smile or something like that. Yeah. So I wonder if they're like, they're well, like, we're not going to make the we're, figures yeah, we're, smile. We're not trying to get into that shit storm, which is I, I would smart. just assume that you'd give her, like, you know, when Thanos headbutts her and she looks up and gives, like, that Wonder Woman smirk at him. Like, Ooh, yeah, bitch, that come was at that. me. Like, that, that was would, an odd smirk. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> like, I feel like that's, like, what they should have given us, especially considering yeah. they, they have a Thanos. Well, so, like. I, I would have preferred maybe, like, yeah, I guess – could we get like a flight hair or something? Yeah, or yeah, maybe like, even like something like like that, her hair yeah. is up like in the air or something, something with a little yeah. more to it because that's just boring. I don't think anyone is going to have that that stale face no. on there. <laughs> and it, so I don't think I've ever seen 
Brie Larson have just that like resting, like dead inside <laughs> face ever. She's either, you know, laughing, having a good time. She's angry. She's got some like, I'm going to beat yeah, your ass. Like, cool, she's like, like, there's, there's a lot of emotions that she shows in her face and dead inside is not one of them. <laughs> very true. Very true. I'm just kind of happy. We don't have the silly helmet with the hair sticking out. I, don't so know. I, can, I kind of, I kind of like it. It makes me laugh every time I see it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's there... like, why is it open just for her hair? Like, I don't. <laughs> it so it looks so... like a cool ass fiery mohawk. That's why. Duh. I know, but like, is the mask like helping her travel through space? I it's just not. It's to keep the bu- space bugs out of her eyes. But they're getting in her hair. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I quit. I quit. So the Harley quit. Yeah, though. so Harley. I can't. Um... I can't wait to see this on Nate's show. Right, oh. I'm like this is like I know he's gonna get this, despite the fact that I feel like the only thing worse in the Hush story than Joker is Harley. Oh. <laughs> like they just that's Jim fair. Lee does incredible work across the board, but that storyline for whatever reason he made, he made Joker look like he was a drug addict, like he had rings under his eyes and he was all like coked out looking, and Harley, I this I don't know what it is about her, but she just looks fucking weird. Maybe yeah. it's the fact that her mask is so big that it goes over top her other mask. That's <laughs> a mask. See, no one that has masks that makes sense anymore. Uh, I mean, outside of just like your, your personal, the the character itself, I'm kind of shocked. I guess it, again, we these are prototypes, right? So yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> it could be better, possibly. But well, the no, the well, paint application on these look a little weird. I think I think it's just because like that's like that's how she is in the in the book is like oh, she, her okay, face okay. is this pale white she's got them bright red lipstick which is very weird and off-putting for the like super it white just face seems like not straight or not clean it, like yeah it, i mean it looks almost like hand painted which i mean like, the prototypes are yeah so I mean, that makes sense um i think that's i think that's it maybe if she had like black lipstick instead of red lipstick it might be mm-hmm. less like jarring jarring and and again that that mask over her eyes is just seems way over the top but um i mean it looks like it did in the books so i can't i can't you know yeah, be yeah. like fuck you moffex you fucked it up no they, jim lee fucked it up and you guys just did it now, um just random aside question is there any character who has more figures just overall from all companies than harley quinn because I feel like every Batman. company has made like 30 versions. I feel like there's more Harley Quinn versions of Batman. Am I tripping? Are we going strictly by like current modern day figures? Or are we going over all time? Because if we go all time, Batman's oh, well, probably got like, more figures yeah. than anybody. Let's talk about collectible figures. Collectible figures. Um, not like, you know, like toys. Just more like you would say modern. I'd say, like yeah. She's probably, she's at least top three easily. I think it's it. I think insane. it would be her, Spider-Man, and maybe Iron Man. Iron Man sure. might be number one just because he has so many different armors that, that like yeah. Hot Toys alone has like fifty Iron Man figures probably. Right. Um, it's it's kind of mind blowing to me. I'm like every every other month there's a new Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, she, she's, bad she's, she's easily got to oh, yeah. <laughs> feel bad for Nate's wallet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nate's fine. He's happy. Yeah, he's fine. He's just like look at all these Harley Quins, and his wallet's just like laying there, like shriveled up, like an old prune. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I always I find these Harleys like cool. Also, she has more movies than Batman does at this point. <laughs> I mean, modern, modern, yeah, modern, yeah. At this point, she does. She's got two Suicide Squad movies. She's got her own movie that was Birds of Prey, but they rebranded it at the last second to attempt to get sales up. <laughs> Just um, about her. Hell, she's like, yeah. All right, I'm surprised she didn't make an appearance in the Snyder Cut, did she? Uh no, I mean they talk uh, about her in the yeah, but... in, like afterwards uh, at the end in the prologue when oh yeah he's talking the joke no, and he's spoilers, like spoilers spoilers I'm joking it's... Oh, it's it's been like three months bro if you haven't walked out everyone has watched, four hours if you have four hours of free time then you are working the wrong profession they might just have a nine month job <laughs> true i'm still an episode one of loki oh my god <laughs> on that note that is it for this week's modern toy fair news make sure to follow us on instagram and twitter and jamar tell everyone about why are you a gamer even if you already said it all last night 
<laughs> no, I actually should probably just write something down because I do this off the cuff every single time, oh, wow. and it's different every single time. And this time, it's going to be different. So Why Are You a Gamer is a podcast where I got together and I met some amazing gamers in the community, just absolutely amazing people, most of them. Uh, Mike did appear on this. Oh, fuck you. You could <laughs> take, your, you could take your plug and you could go fuck yourself back to where we were going. <laughs> <laughs> uh but no it, it is a really cool like way to highlight the the cool people in gaming i stress that because you know you might be online and you're like oh i love video games and then someone calls you uh some very racial slurs not every gamer is like that and that's what my my goal was to to do in the first season and my goal is still to do in the second season when that comes so if you're looking for a good show and good hearted just simply or simply 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 search why are you a gamer on any podcast platform of choice and if you prefer to use spotify it's on there it's on apple music it's also on spotify uh google Podcasts. which who uses that just use spotify sounds cool awesome <laughs> if uh, for some reason you want to catch my lovely voice uh not talking about toys you can catch me over on the gimmick minute wrestling podcast where jason kevin and myself shoot the shit on what's going on in the wrestling world each week you can also support us here on modern toy fair by clicking the link below for tpublic.com or for any of the pruder links as well tpublic.com we have different shirts for our logos on them and other things i've worked up in photoshop so i appreciate if you check that out and of course like and subscribe especially if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more weekly toy news and toy reviews and then also leave a comment below what you're excited for what you're what you think they're going to do with the street sharks i mean i feel like that's a pretty big deal uh if you want to correct us i i reply to pretty much anything as long as you don't you know say some fucked up shit or you're not you know putting spam links in there i i, I reply pretty pretty often I click all spam links, by the way. Uh, he does, so uh, please don't do that because I, I'll get in trouble when his like computer crashes and his <laughs> wife will be like, what are you doing? Uh, things expensive. He built it himself. Um, you think he'd know better? But yeah, so I replied just about everything. So make sure to leave a comment. And then if you enjoy our faces hit the little bell to get notifications when our videos go up we have modern toy fair reviews on mondays where i will review a modern toy that has recently released you have our wednesday night weekly purchases live on twitch every wednesday at 10 p.m eastern standard time where me jamar and nate all three go over our weekly purchases and chat with everyone who decides to come and watch with us and then, of course, on Fridays, you have Modern Toy Fair News, where we'll bring you the weekly toy news that we've deemed worthy of the 40 or so minutes of your life. And if you don't like our faces, you can catch the audio-only version of Modern Toy Fair News on Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So make sure to check that out, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.